Today I'm making cinnamon apple French toast. We're gonna to be using sourdough French bread. This makes for a very tasty French toast. The outside is nice and crispy and the inside is nice and tender. And the apples on top with the sauce, it's very caramelized, it tastes very delicious. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. Why is the French toast team the best baseball team of all the toast teams? because it's got the best batter. <laughs> okay, here's our ingredients. A couple of eggs. I have some grass-fed butter. I have some milk. We have some coconut sugar that uh, doesn't spike your blood sugar. Sourdough bread, which is a really nice flavor. Apples and some cinnamon. And last but not least, we'll need some vanilla extract. All right, the first thing we gotta do is start off with our apples. We're gonna be using fresh apples, Fuji, uh, any kind you like, your favorite works. I'm gonna leave the skin on. It helps to kind of keep the apple together from getting mushy, I, okay? And it's good for you. It's good for you to eat the, the peel. So you just wanna cut your apple. I'm gonna take out any little bits that are right in the middle that we don't really want in ours apple and then you're just going to take your knife and cut it into bite-sized chunks like this. Two apples would be anywhere from two to three people depending on how much you know how much you like. I'll place these in a bowl and we'll head on over to the stove and start cooking these up. Okay so I've got my heat over well I'm starting out at low heat I'm going to add some water to the pan and this is the coconut sugar. I'm gonna cook that in there and give it a stir. We want this to dissolve. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to the pan so I have a little more liquid in which to cook the apples. Now we're gonna add the apples to this and then I'm gonna bring the temperature up so that we can get this to a simmer. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of cinnamon to this you can add a little less if you're not crazy about it, but I think it's fantastic. Now you see the simmer on that? That's what we want. And we're gonna cook these just until the apples are soft, seven to 10 minutes max. I'm also gonna add a teaspoon or so of that vanilla extract. Now remember, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Check it out. And now we're gonna add a little bit of that grass-fed butter. So we're gonna drop some of that in there, about a tablespoon. Now give that a little stir until it's all mixed in and melted. I'm adding a little milk to this. You can use low fat or full fat milk. And what it does is it adds some nice creaminess to the texture in the sauce. Once this is heated through, go ahead and give it a little taste and see what you think. You can always add more sugar, but I don't think you'll need it. It's delicious, that's all I can tell you. Now I'm ready to start making that French toast. So I'm gonna crack a couple of eggs right here into this bowl. Then I'll give it a nice little whisk, and then we'll add a little bit of flavorful vanilla extract. At the stove here, I have my pan heating up over medium heat, and I'm adding some butter to it to give it this some really nice flavor. Once the butter melts and it's nice and bubbly, then we're ready to start adding our bread. So I'm gonna take my sliced bread and just lay it right into my egg mixture and just let it kind of soak into the bread for just a little bit on each side. Lay that right into the pan and start working on your second piece. Always make sure that you get the bread completely coated in the egg batter. Lay that baby right in the pan and let it cook until it turns into a nice golden brown. This will probably take three or four minutes. It just depends on how high your heat is. Okay, it must be time for chef joke number two. Why do you have to watch what you say around egg whites? Because they can't take a yolk. All right, after the second side is cooked another three minutes or so and it's nice and golden, now it's time to serve it up. If you're enjoying this video and you think this recipe looks delicious and I'm telling you it is, click the like button to let me know. 
And then we're gonna top this off, of course, with our delicious apple sauce. Check this out. This apple French toast is really delicious. It's got some great cinnamony flavor and the apples, of course, are just tender and, and juicy and oh, it's just incredible. Am I making you hungry yet? You know what would really complement this French toast? Some bacon. I've got the video for you, especially if you have trouble cooking your bacon nice and flat and crispy. This video will show you how to do it. Click the link on the screen, it'll take you right to it. I hope you enjoyed today's apple cinnamon French toast. And if you know somebody who might enjoy that, share it with them. I'd love that. That way they can enjoy it too. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.